Hello, so today I am in the Jeet, which is the uh, part of the outbuilding which used to be used for accommodation but many many years ago as you can see it's quite run down, quite derelict so today's project is to clear out as much stuff as I can um, see how we get on, maybe we can take down these partition walls uh, that we have in here because I want this as a blank canvas the architect is currently working on the plans for this place we want to turn this into a self-contained two bedroom uh, gîte with kitchenette and a living area uh, somewhere as well so the architect's working his magic on that so my job today is to get it all cleaned out um, and taken back to as much as the shell as possible so when we get his plans we can just move on with that so I'll stick you on time lapse so you can see how I get on So I'm making pretty good progress. Uh, seats out, rip that out, uh, toilet doors off just to give us a bit more room. All the rubbish that was stored in here is now gone outside, ready to be stored away in different parts of the grounds and chateaus. Uh, the floor tile, the plain area are up. So next job for me is having a really good sweep up, getting some of us as tidy as I can, and then look at what bits of destruct next. All going well. So you saw me on the hyperlapse taking out these crates of um, bits that were in the old bathroom in the jeet here and what they actually are is this is the glass for the greenhouse that you've seen in uh, other Chateau de Bruges videos so that's quite exciting it looks like most of it's intact so at some point maybe when uh, my mum and dad come over again in October we might have a go at putting some of these panes back in the greenhouse and see whether it looks like we can Get some renovation on the greenhouse done. Exciting. So let's have a little clean up in here. It's looking much better already. So next job for me is to remove these tiles from the wall. I don't think they're going to take a lot of uh, persuading to come off. And we're going to knock those off next. And then uh, tidy up again. Okay, so as suggested and expected, the uh, tiles didn't take a lot to come off the wall, so done that, that's fine. Let's have done that side as well, since since they come off so easy. So I'm just going to tidy all this up now. This one will go into my hardcore store that I'm keeping for when we do the patio around the pool area, or the what we're calling Mars patio out the side of the chateau here. So I'm going to shovel all this up, put it in a bag, and take it over to the uh, to the hardcore store.
Next job for me then is to remove this uh, partition wall. It's um, made out of lightweight uh, concrete blocks. It's only you know, a couple of inches, so 60, 70 mil thick. Uh, maybe more, maybe 100, 100 mil up top. That's it. I've already experimented up here, and you can see it's going to come down very easily. So it's just a case of smashing it out. It's a, one piece of electrics I can see in there, so I just need to be careful with that, but the, uh, the power is all isolated to the whole sheet at the moment, so it's not too critical. Um, so I'm just going to uh, knock that down and that's that out of the way. Some more tidying up afterwards. And there you go, the wall is down. So this one will come down as well. It's going to be the same process, but I'm going to tidy this lot away. Again, put it into the trailer, dump it off in the hardcore store, and then we can look at taking the next one down. Good morning, so I'm back in the Jeep this morning and my uh, job list for today is to remove this wall that's uh, currently dividing off the toilet area and this wall here, this will all come out, got some electrics in there we need to be careful of um, Before I can remove this wall, I need to remove this hot water tank which is in place here, so I'm just going to disconnect the pipe from there uh, Remove the hot water tank, I'd like to keep it, we may use it when we uh, when we put the jeep back together, if it's in good state. Um, so that's my job today, so I'll stick you on time lapse, you can watch me do that. So I've disconnected the hot water tank, uh, plumbing and electrics, but very quickly come to the realisation that I think that's going to be too heavy for me to, to lift down on my own. I don't think it's got any water in it, but I think just the pure size of it and the, the weight of it is going to be a bit much for me to do on my own. So Jake's, Jake's still away on all of that at the moment, so I'll hear back at the end of this week, so I think I'll hold off on this. Wait for Jake to come back so there's at least two people to try and lift it down. So it's about all I can do on that for, for the minute. I can't start knocking the wall down because obviously the tank's attached to the wall. Um, so I may have a look at clearing out some of the other rooms within this sheet. So I'm in one of the bedrooms of the Jeet. Um, now this is, a, this is going to become the main entrance and the living area and kitchen area through here as well. So this wall in the middle here, you can see on my left, is going to come down to open up this all into one big space and the bedrooms are going to go on to that other half that we've seen over there. So job for today, I've got a nice big window here that leads outside so I can chuck all my rubbish out the window there. So I'm just going to get the standing knife and cut the carpet up start pulling the carpet up and get that all outside so that can be taken to the tip uh, and then depending on how that goes, if that goes well we can then look at maybe taking this wall down again this is the same as the wall we've taken down already just that lightweight uh, brick 
construction, uh, so that will come down nice and easy with a, with a bit of persuasion. So get the carpet up and uh, see what we're dealing with. So that's the carpet out, uh, fairly straightforward, it's just stuck down to what's a lovely, what is a nice, uh, lovely flat concrete screed service. I'm happy about that because we're going to put laminate throughout here, so this is a great service to uh, put that straight down onto. Um, so just got a little bit of sweeping up to do, uh, get some of the muck out, Merlin's come to help, and then we can look at maybe taking the wall down. Hello, so you're joining us in bedroom one and today we're going to be wallpapering our feature wall. Now, Jake and Danielle have never done any wallpapering before, is that correct? Absolutely not. So I'm going to be teaching them as we go. So we've got all this stuff that I think we're going to need here. I've got my wallpapering tools here, my brush, my roller, my scissors and my cutters. We've got a roller and a tray because the wallpaper adhesive that we're going to be using, which is the French uh, Brico stuff, is put onto the wall rather than onto the paper so that's an, a new system for me but that's how it says to do it on the box so we're going to follow that system so we've got our water marked out here for half of our box of paste and we've also got a bucket of clean water with a sponge um, so we can clean off any paste that gets on the skirting boards as we go along so the first thing to do jake is tip half of your wallpaper powder into your clean bucket of Water, sprinkling it into the middle. Done with the precision we expect from Jake. A couple of flakes more. I think that's about half. Okay. And we just use our mixing stick here to just work the paste. Get out all the lumps and let it dissolve into the water. So it's a few minutes. So we're just letting the paste set for 10 minutes, just got to stand still for 10 minutes while it absorbs the liquid into the paste. No, we haven't got to stand still, the paste has got to stand still. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then once that's 10 minutes is up, we can then start to roll it up on the wall. <laughs> so we've got our laser line on the wall, um, which is going to give us a nice straight line to start with with our first roll of wallpaper. So I'm going to start putting the paste on the wall just slightly wider than the first bit of uh, roll of wallpaper we're going to be putting on. So let's just roll just outside the line. Nice colouring. Jake, can you measure me across? Let's go. Just 
edge of the paper is on the lay of the line. Yep. Side, so, and then just so there's no there. laser on the paper, no? No, just on the side of the laser line. And then you just push your edge, push your edge on. Yep. And hold it there. Okay. I'll show you the cross paper. And that will lay down. Getting out in the air bubbles. Try not to stretch the paper. Mm -hmm. Just slightly left and I can't see the laser anymore because you're yeah. to So if you just drop that down the mark you've got on it. Don't need to leave too much, just enough to get to just to the edge of the skirt, doesn't it? Yep. Help after these two rolls. Right, then we're going to take this in, we're going to bring it up, 
fold it in half. Just slap it on. Doesn't matter that it's going to pull that back so we can get to So today we have two guests arriving from the UK and they're going to be flying themselves here in their own light aircraft. So they're going to do a fly pass of the chateau on their way to Morlines where they're going to land. So they should be coming in from this direction at about half past one our time. So we're going to be looking out for them. Uh, we'll give them a wave as they come over. They're going to do a loop and uh, take, some, take some pictures for us and then I'm going to shoot out and meet them at the airfield and bring them back. So quite exciting times. Should be here soon. Gonna come over the top of that tree, I reckon. Yeah. Just getting his bearings, I reckon. 